Can the Sith philosophy actually work? Darth Plagueis was maybe a complete idiot. Bear with me, as we all know, Palpatine's master was experimenting with life-prolonging science. He's what I would call book smart, but street dumb. After showing Palpatine the ways of the Force, he allowed his apprentice to take on his own student, Darth Maul. He was operating under the assumption that Palpatine would share power with his master once he was made the Supreme Chancellor. In his hubris, he thought that he had tricked his apprentice into making him an immortal god king. This is the fundamental flaw of the Sith. What does winning actually mean? Plagueis wasn't the first Sith to seek immortality. Bane, the founder of the Rule of Two, tried to find the key to immortality with essence transfer. Sidious cloned himself to prolong his life after death, and even Darth Krayt, who formed a new order called the One Sith, planned on being functionally immortal. Most Sith Lords wanted to have their cake, but eat it too. As Bane once said, power Power is its own purpose, to share it is to dilute it. The paradox is that in order to have power, Sith Lords have to take apprentices, or at least have Dark Jedi doing their bidding. But the nature of the dark side begs for those beneath to seek higher ground. So my question is, can the Sith philosophy actually work?